Good morning, guys. So, I thought I was bringing you guys along. Um, I'm on my way to a restaurant to replace the valve that is leaking by. I didn't diagnose it. Somebody else did, so. I guess what the issue is, is staying open and evaporator keeps icing up. This restaurant's brand new. Uh, I think it hasn't even opened yet. I know we installed the walk-in cooler, walk-in freezers, and all that good stuff. Um, I even helped the, on the install. So, I'm gonna go ahead and bring you guys along. And, uh, One thing about San Francisco, guys, always pay for your parking. All right, so I was able to add one more hour and it expires at 12, uh, three, three hours and 12 minutes. So let's get everything I need. So this is the place, everything's getting built. So we install the freezer, uh, another walk-in over there and this walk-in. up anymore let me show you guys the walking cooler one of them looking nice the fans look like they're spinning a little slower because they have that new relay that it's a uh, variable speed I guess it's a California thing for saving energy and then the other cooler it's right there I don't feel like moving in so so right now i'm gonna go ahead and uh, head over to the roof take you guys along and pump it down and then replace the coil and the valve so before we go out there i just want to make sure this thing is calling yep so i'm just gonna put it at negative uh negative nine or something that way i know that something is open and i'm able to pump it down all right, guys, go ahead and go ahead and close the receiver. We should start pumping down anytime. We didn't install all these, somebody else did. We saw those two, that one, this one, and that one. I just want to show you guys the view for today. All right, so my unit shut off on low pressure. It's about almost zero PSI, but just to keep it on the safe side, I'm gonna go ahead and pump it a little bit more. You guys can see the bridge. There's the van right there, posted up. So yeah, I got the nitrogen right there. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, go get the fitting for the nitro because I forgot it for some reason, but yeah, I'm gonna go get it. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and pull nitrogen to the system and then uh, weld that piece, come back here and then pull it the vacuum. That should be it, simple. All right, cool. Power's off, everything's off, so. Let me just verify that it's the same one. Yep. Looks pretty good. Where's the arrow? Arrows are going that way. Boom. Alright, let's in there.
All right, guys, I don't know if this is just my luck, but I noticed a lot of the newer selling tanks they fucking keep breaking. God damn it. All right, guys, got the spare. It was able to open. But yeah, let me know in the comments if you guys been having the same issues because, I mean, I know I have, so. Maybe it's just my luck, or you guys are having the same issue. Okay. All right, let's get back. Man, I wish I had the nav back wireless because there's no outlets out here. So I'm gonna have to run it all the way down to the building. God. Dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it. All right, let's go. All right, guys, well, I'll let that vacuum do its thing. I'm gonna go ahead and start doing paperwork because I have to do, uh, since it's a new building, I have to go through a bunch of paperwork and fill it out and basically write model numbers, serial numbers of everything. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that while just pulling a vacuum and then uh, go from there. So now what I'm gonna go ahead and do, I'm gonna go ahead and wait probably 30 minutes, see if it stays and then open it up. All right, we're looking good. All right, we're good. Stop it bubbles, quick. Basically verifying, just to double check. Good. Good. Side glass. Side glass is clear. So I'm pretty sure the evaporator is off right now because it has to get to a certain, a certain degree. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and wait and then go from there. All right, guys, we're up and running. Everything's put in. Screws. Okay. All right, cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and go upstairs, take my gauges off, and uh, call it good. 25. I'm gonna go ahead and wait till it goes slower, and then we should be good. Jesus Christ. I would pretty could have lived in one of those houses, apartments or whatever they are. All right guys, let's go home. Verify the glass again, it's everything's full. So let's get out of here. So I gotta make sure I put this. 
as you guys can tell, I gotta clean my van. I gotta make sure I get rid of all that junk. So that's warranty, so I have to make sure that goes back. Um, all right, guys, uh, I wanna go ahead and mention this. If you guys don't see me do something, it's because I'm too busy getting the job done. So sometimes I forget to film something, but it's because I, I gotta get the job done no matter what. So it's not like I own my company or anything that I'm able to have more time on it. Uh, also, if you guys don't see me do something, it's because I didn't film it. But that doesn't mean I didn't do it. Like I said, and it's all because I gotta get things done fast. Uh, and then third reason, uh, I don't want, I don't like to film everything because I don't want restaurant owners to look at my videos and be like, oh, that's easy, I can go ahead and do that. I just, I don't, I don't want that because this is not a how-to channel. Uh, there's other channels that do that, but not me. I mean, that's why I try to keep it for text only. Um, but yeah, just my two little cents on that. So yeah, uh, I'm gonna wait a freezer see what's going on with that and hopefully go home after that and uh see if i'm able to record all right guys showed up to the next service call and nobody was here so i get to go home so hopefully you guys enjoy the video uh i'm off tomorrow it's new year's and that's pretty much it later